Hey guys, it's Lily Pad Polish, and today I'm going to be showing you how to recreate these Mr. and Mrs. Frankenstein nails. And oh my gosh, this has got to be one of my favorite Halloween designs ever. I actually already have three other Halloween designs already up on my channel, and the first ones I did was a Victorian style haunted house. The second are these semi-cute spider web nails, and then the most recent are my creepy bloody Hello Kitty nails. So if you want to know how to recreate this design, then just keep on watching. Starting off, as always, I'm going to apply my yellow stopper as my base coat, and I actually like to use this as my peel-off base coat. For the base polish, it of course has to be green, so I'm using China Glaze's Lime After Lime from their Light Brights collection, and I don't really know what was wrong with me today, but this polish application is horrendous. I think this school stress is getting to me or something, but I know I'm not the only one, so if you're a college student or even a student in general, I feel your pain. And because this polish application was particularly messy, I decided I'd show you how I clean up around my nails. So using a brush dipped in nail polish remover, I like to first remove any polish that I got on the side or under my nail. And then around my cuticles, I'll remove any excess polish there and then shape the polish. I like to have a nice curve of polish that is parallel to my cuticles. I just think it looks a lot nicer and neater than having bumpy or jagged edges around the cuticles. Then I'm going to apply a fast drying top coat on all of my nails. It's not completely necessary, but I do this extra step because I like to have a dry and smooth surface to work on when I do nail art, especially with acrylic paint, which to be honest is what I use most of the time I do nail art. So for my middle finger, I'm going to be doing the Frankenstein. And fun fact, Frankenstein is actually the creator of this green monster. So he's technically not Frankenstein, but it's just easier to call him that because that's what everybody else calls him that. So as you see, I'm doing the hair of Frankenstein and I wanted it to be kind of spiky looking and messy and so that's what I'm doing and I'm using black acrylic paint to do that and a detail brush. So using that same black acrylic paint, I'm going to be using a dotting tool and dotting the eyes of Frankenstein. And then using white, I'm going to be doing the same thing. And then once again, doing the black pupils in the very middle. And I feel like doing the black, white, black just looks a lot creepier. But using black acrylic paint again, I'm going to be doing the stitched mouth of Frankenstein. And I like the way that it looks when it's crooked, so that's why I painted it like that. And then for Mrs. Frankenstein, I'm doing this on the ring finger. And I'm doing kind of like a hill shaped, if that makes sense, or like a widow's peak. I don't really know how to describe this, but this is going to be her hair. So I'm just going to fill everything above those curved hill shaped lines and fill it in all the way up to the cuticles and leave the bottom green because that's going to be her face. And just like the Frankenstein, we're going to use black and white acrylic paint starting with black for the eyes. And because she is a she, I decided to add eyelashes 
before I go on with the eyes just to make her look a little bit more pretty and then of course the white in the middle and then the black pupils obviously when it's all dry and then using white we're going to be doing the squiggly white lines in her hair and so this part was a little bit difficult it was a little messy um, but it's okay we can always go back in and fix it so that's what I did I just grabbed some more of that black acrylic paint and just kind of defined the edges and squigglies that I made just so that they're not blobby they're more structured zigzag lines if that makes sense and of course you got to do the same thing to the other one um, I think that this one came out a lot worse honestly but that's okay that's what the fixing is for um, it's really easy to just go back and fix it especially since it's black and you're fixing white um, but sometimes you have to be careful with acrylic paint because it does end up looking a little bumpy despite putting on a top coat so to make her look more feminine and girly I decided to add a little bow um, this is optional of course but I thought it looked cute I went in with white first just because I wouldn't have showed up as bright over the black and then I went in and put pink over the white because what's more girly than pink and then for the rest of my nails, which is the pointer thumb and my pinky finger, I'm just doing those same stitches that we did for the mouth of Frankenstein. And I wish I had done a little bit less on this nail. It looks a little bit packed in, but it's okay. And these did end up being a little bit too messy and distressed looking for my personal preference, but because they're Halloween nails, I'm able to say that I totally meant for them to turn out that way. And I'm just continuing adding on those tiny lines onto the long lines. And finally, I'm going to apply my favorite glossy top coat, and this is INM Out the Door. And I'm making sure to cap the edges for a longer lasting manicure. And this is the finished manicure. I know that this was a little bit of a long tutorial. Usually my voiceovers aren't this long, but I'm totally in love with this Manny and I really liked the way that this tutorial turned out. And if you did too, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribed. And comment down below letting me know what Halloween design you would like to see from me next. And that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!